Videoing? I am now. Okay. So what do we have? Well, we got an Alice Chalmers WD here. Year? Fairbanks. Oh, frick! It's a 49, I believe. Okay. Um, and it's got a Fairbanks Morse FMJ Magneto on it. And for anybody who's worked on them, parts are expensive, and you have to get them in the mail. Can't just go down to Napa and get them. And I'm cheap and impatient, so I came up with another idea. And I don't know for any other people that are cheap. You guys might want to copy this. Let's and it honestly is actually nice because you can find parts. Just go down to Napa if you blow a coil. Just got yeah. an external coil now. Just go um, down to your local auto parts store because that's where all of this was bought to do this. And yep. reusable. And reusable. We reused a lot of stuff here. So anyway, what we did here is we essentially turned our magneto into a distributor. To do this, we took and we got an external coil. And then we just ran, of course, a wire from our ignition to our coil. Then our wire here goes down into the bottom of our um, magneto and connects. You can't see it here, but when this covers off, there's a point where your points and your condenser connect. You normally run a wire from your internal coil, but they're like 80 bucks, and I don't have $80 to throw at this thing. So we got an external coil that was 35 um, And so anyway, you connect this wire into your points. Then... You, you have to drill a hole in the side of it, but there's no problem drilling a hole in the side and just go easy because it's old because I don't care enough to replace it. And you do have to watch out because there's a ginormous, gear. what is that, a brass gear? That, that's not a brass, it's just, it's just um it's like a wood almost. There's a brass pin here yeah. that actually we connect our hot wire into the, not our hot wire, but like our ignition wire into that brass pin. Your coil wire coming coil down wire. into the brass pin. Yep. And then and this that, just comes straight from your, key, from your, um, ignition on yep and so this is just feeding into that brass pin we just soldered it on and this thing works like a dream we'll start her up for well you. let's go over the other 12 volt stuff real quick huh oh yeah we, we don't pay attention to this because that was uh custom that's custom yeah anyway we've 12 volt swap tell them about this we here starter oh yeah this starter there was a draw in the switch oh, hold on so we got rid of the switch yeah oh yeah let's run over the switch real quick so these starters all these old ones your tractor you explain this well pretty simple you got a piece of copper here you got a piece of copper there you push this they come together great except make it nice and steady oh yeah sorry yep just makes contact on these and that sits right on top of the starter however with that there's all this insulator i don't know if you can see that there got insulators insulators and old tractors equal crack Cracked equals random draw. And shocking the piss out of you. Which isn't I found that, that out. much fun. So, we went with the used solenoid route. So, we just... Just a three wire. Just wired. Just ground it. Just wired like any other solenoid would be. And just deleted yep, that just switch. Yep, we just where that piece would bolt on. And, and what you gotta watch out for is uh as i found out and i kind of uh may or may not have hurt the other starter that is a uh, copper thread so you can't tighten that very much yeah good thing we bought a we had a spare starter laying around because yeah, we got lots of good. crap same with these these are also copper threads but solenoids are cheaper solenoids are a little bit seem to be a little stronger though those actually stripped out pretty quick pretty but quick we made that better yep and so then we got everything wired into our original box not an original spot we had to stick the key on top because it sticks down so far so we got it's our keyed a, ignition. It's just an, what is it, an Eklund three wire key from Napa. Just any three wire key would work yeah. fine. It's we not, are not sponsored by anybody, by the way. Nope. Feel free to sponsor us. <laughs> just kidding. I got a saying for that, but it's not PC, so. No, we're going to ignore that. Gonna ignore so anyway, that. nice thing about this keyed switch is you can wire your lights into it. I don't know. You see, hit the ignition and lights come on. Yep. So for idiots like me who leave their lights on and then need jumped, this is a great option. Yep. And honestly, all the electrical stuff, other than the alternator and the battery, was probably only 20 bucks. Except for yeah. you did have a used solenoid. It'd be more if you had to get it all. But And for people converting to 12 volt on these old things, because 6 volts, cool for originality, but a lot of times as far as cranking power, usability, it's shit. Um, uh, we just bought a three-wire key. There is a battery constant. There's one that goes to your coil, or no, excuse me, it goes to solenoid. I'm an idiot. <laughs> and then there's another that's just ignition yeah. when you turn the key so on. Yeah, that goes to the coil, and 
run it to your light switch so if you forget your lights are on it go hello there we go but yeah and then this here uh alternator. single wire alternator best to go they're just go you need an alternator go ask for chevrolet single wire alternator make sure you got a good ground which i'm honestly thinking maybe we should put a ground off of here too maybe just to be just safe. for the honestly, safeness though, we, we wired we, we did. We flap and wheel the frick out of that stuff. It should be fine. But for the flex. It would be a flex. And then I think that this is... We're going to have to clean this up a little. We don't really care right now. No, I have works. wire loom at home for another day. Yeah, we can do that another day. But then just run one wire mm -hmm. all the way around. Yep. And run that wire and hook it on to the side of the solenoid that your battery cables hook to. We need to shorten that because that's kind of obnoxious. But Yeah, that's another story for another day. We don't really care. But... Uh, Bucks right to life. Bucks right to life. This thing run, and this thing was a piece of shit before. Oh, you don't even. Know. It would. It we no were start. always pull starting it with uh, diesels. Anything we could find for that matter. Yeah. We tried a lot more, but didn't the old CA was a champ though, pulling her up the hill and forth. Dude, the CA is a beast. CA is a oh, beast. You, you got to put it. The 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 things come towards you. Oh, I yep. Now. I did that. That way, it's kind of like a truck ignition. And that's how your tractor should run. This is not factory, don't ignore, just ignore that. So yeah. Go ahead, kill it. But yeah. That makes these things run so sweet. And that a really um, reasonable. What was the issue? I know the issue, but you explain it. Well, there's an issue. There's a problem. Go bad. We were shorting out, so we had to get this thing really a whirring to make enough electricity to make enough electricity to make a spark and supply the short. The short was, was coming from. There's a bearing in here that holds the armature here, so that bearing has some insulative paper around it, and I'm pretty sure there was a there's a ding in that paper but to find the paper you gotta go online and that involves five days wait and i don't care to wait five days i need this thing tomorrow so we got some custom aftermarket performance products and this Actually thing stout runs like a champ yeah this strap and then explain, that's just old strapping off of just like a bundle or whatever explain um uh uh future issues oh yeah um one thing that could come up for us in the issues in the future, we obviously did this swap today just a little while ago, but um, this coil is probably making quite a few more volts than the original coil did. So mm -hmm. we might burn up our points, but that's a pretty simple fix. You just need to stick a resistor in here in your wire and then just resist it down to what your original points were used to. Well, and then you should be good to go. Yeah, if that's track. the issue, but don't magnetos run a lot more power than that original coil? I don't know. Or do they just run more power than the shitty six volt coils? I think they just well. Six I know they ran more bad. I think no, they, but they just. I think they put magnetos more amps behind them than volts because they really oh, bite you. Oh, that's true. That's more my amps. Understanding. I don't know. I need to do more research into what these FMJs made factory. Yeah. But I might also just run it till the points burn up, and then if they burn up uh, a lot faster than they should, I'll stick new ones in. The only problem is it is kind of a pain taking the thing apart now because this wire. And gapping the points is kind of a pain in the ass on this. It's going to be even worse now. Actually, no. You'll just pull the whole housing off. It won't be obscene. But no. The only thing with these, when you're taking them apart, you want to be careful. There's at least, well, there shouldn't be this much of a pain. There should be a mark on your gear in there that says where to put it. But I got a default, a faulty one. So for mine, you're going to have to go ahead and just put a mark on your rotor right where it's at. Because otherwise, we'll throw it out of time. And then they're bare to get back because you just got to pull it off and guess which way you need to go. And I mean, you can actually do it the right way, but that's how we do it, of course, because that's how we Lazy. do stuff around here. But just make sure if you put a mark on that, that's pretty foolproof. Oh, and uh, just a little fail safe because this is the original um, ground out to kill this thing in case it's still generating any kind of fun shit inside, which I rather doubt it is but mm -hmm. just I'd as a fail safe out ground out this crap. whole body or we ground out the there. insides because this will ground out yep. where the magnet or yep. the magneto All coil the used to run and just ground it out here and it works yeah. great we're um, it, it just thing just 
a whole new tractor. And by the way, don't freaking paint if you don't know what the hell you're doing. Who the hell paints over lights? Yeah, and who the heck paints with freaking paintbrush on tractor? Stupid people. But yeah, but hey, the tractor in reality, has been the goat, so it's good now. now. It's a goat. It was a bugger beforehand, but. And these WDs are cool. They got a hand clutch and a foot clutch. We yeah, you may as well do a walk around to the old WD and oh, what yeah. things do. Oh, we'll show you. Well, for one, we got crappy tires. So if you're a tire company and you want to sponsor us, this would be a great way to start. Um, got the problem with these WDs in terms of being a loader tractor. They're a real simple hydraulic system, which they got a traction booster system, which I've never seen in action, but I've heard is great. We have a plow to test one. I bought for test that, but that'll be another video for another day. But uh, you just got the single remote here, and the remote's here, but it's just connected into these lift arms. So if you want to run a rear blade and run the loader, you're going to have a floppy, floppy action going in the back running your loader. So yeah, I got to do something about this, but. Put we'll this valve in, it's kind of obnoxious. The valve's actually nice because you can. It doesn't work very good though because it bleeds. It doesn't bleed bad. No, that but. That was I... always the fact that the cylinder leaked so bad that's also true but like when i had this thing shut and i was raising it it was still raising i was like oh shit oh that's not good anyway it might just be a snap out coupler place. hitch so these are the top links for a snap coupler these ones of course are seized and then the third links down there you'll you'll back into your implement there obviously a lot of this is custom aftermarket but you can just back into your implements mm -hmm. they lat just latch right in we can somebody had some three point which, stuff on which would be king which but is what focus is going to happen in the future but, but this thing you just back in relative and it catches and yep. as you can see there's a little chain over there that comes up to this lever which of course isn't connected because we needed to make it run first which is what we did today and that just does the clicky clicky action and you back run over it. all your controls and then oh well this so here's yeah. the throttle obviously got your hydraulics that are cool because they self work but they're also pain in the butt because they always are creeping around the loader but this is up yep and that's down and, and this is throttle there. down and throttle up yep which we, we used to live at full throttle but now we can actually idle we deleted the original pull. the original pull which ran down to the starter that switch we were telling you about earlier there's your choke which we don't have to use except for when it's cold of course and it's so just a standard four speed you know one two that's three four r the unique thing about these WD, oh yeah, we got a PTO here. Those are good. They are liable to blow out though if you're using them in jerky work. They're not a super stout design. They work good for steady, but I've heard that when you're brush hogging and stuff, you can break. There's a drop down gear to get to that box. I don't know if you can see that underneath. We'll go underneath, Jack. So it goes to this lever. So these gears in here, you can blow those out. I've been told oh, yeah. that if you're That's your jerky PTO. work. But for steady work, I've heard they're pretty stout. So I'm Ow, I worried. just hit my head. That's good for it. The cool thing about these WDs, it really made them, the, in my opinion, an innovative tractor in the day. Got farm all guys would tell me they're a pile, but they don't know much. Um, this hand clutch, and this is was Alice Chalmers' way, obviously, forward disengaged, back is engaged. They're a wet clutch, so you can slip them, which is great. But the real thing that made them cool is instead of actually disengaging your engine like on your flywheel, which is a normal clutch you do, they actually split your rear end, so your differential just spins open. And by doing this, they gave you a live PTO. So that was really innovative for bailing and harvesting stuff where you might need to slow down while you're in the car, up, but you don't want to lose your PTO. Talk about these rims. Because oh, I'm sure a lot of people are looking at this, people that don't know what they're Oh yeah, doing. non Alice Chalmers guys. So these rims were another innovation that came into the Alice Chalmers lineup in the WD. Um, these rims are a power adjust rim. Um, so you loosen these. We'll have to give you guys a video on actually using these sometime. But mm. you loosen all these and then you just set your brake on the other side. And then you just let the clutch out and it just spins your wheel right out. It's just a screw. So you can screw your wheels in and out without jacking up the tractor or nothing. Remember, tire people, you want to sponsor us. Uh, anyway, they're really they're innovative design. They're great for just making it easier to do so you're more likely to do it because you, then you're not driving on your swath or whatever else. So that's really a good good deal that Al Thomas came up with. What else have we got kicking around here? We, we got, better go show them the snap coupler plow in a second just so oh, they kind of yeah, more yeah. understand. For sure. Got the air cleaner that doesn't exist, but that'll come in another day. That's about, oh, you know, this 
floater. I know I've, I was looking for videos of it on YouTube back in, when I was buying this tractor, but I couldn't find much. They're a WD9 loader. Um, you can get a WD6, WD8, I believe, for a CA over there. I got a CA over there. We might have to show you another day. But uh, they're not the greatest loader in the world. They're just a trip bucket loader, but they aren't bad either. They're fairly compact, and they work. Honestly, I like the low profile setting that this yeah. has compared to some of the great big yeah. ones that They're sit nice. way They're the hell compact. up there. They, they honestly look on the tractor pretty well. They're yeah. useful. We've done a little, even though they don't have down pressure, you can take and angle this trip bucket here. And obviously, I don't know if you guys know how a trip bucket is. You just trip this wire and it lifts that pin back out and then your bucket will flop down. It's supposed to. It's supposed Isn't it to. missing some springs? It's missing some springs and it's supposed to load heart order to the front. Because there's supposed mm -hmm. to be a plate here when you're doing dirt work. But mm -hmm. I don't have one of those because that was an option I didn't get. Yeah. Um, but you can angle this bolt up and down. So if you angle the bucket down, it actually digs fairly well for no down pressure. Mm -hmm. This stick your buddy in the bucket, and it even helps even more if you got a buddy that'll do that kind of stuff. Is this you. front end uh, wide out like the old Cultivision Farmalls? Oh, it'll extend. Yeah. Does it? Okay. Yeah, it's not. It's not like power adjust or nothing like. No, that but stuff. none of. But they're no front bolts end and is. Then they just slide out. You can see mm -hmm. this one's widened one. They're both wide in one. You can see there's yep. one bolt hole. So you can Which isn't bad, having them. a wider. They're not obscene, but they're not. Oh, look, snap coupler. Oh, yeah, go look at this plow over here. We've got the old seized cub action here, but it's no, no longer seized. It actually runs pretty decent. Chrome. Yeah, it's like one dead cylinder, but that's another movie for another day. So we got this snap coupler plow here. Pretty excited about it. We just drug it home a while back, so it'll go on the WD eventually. And that plate, that's right where you back in, yep. and then you drop so the bolt in. So that's that, where that thing clips through. Then these are the two things that your upper links are going to attach to. I don't know if you can see how they would work. There's supposed to be a pin through them. These ones obviously didn't have that. Well, they probably did, but it was obviously... We got these out of junkyard, so those have been stolen a while ago. This should be a good plow behind that WD. Post Creek Tractor Supply has some... That's that's always a good day. Hey, don't be telling them a secret spot. I know. Oh, and then you want to, oh, here's the sheet metal for the WD. It's actually pretty straight, but... You know, if somebody didn't freaking paint it with a brush. Yeah. Idiots. It's a lot easier to work on your tractors without the sheet metal on. And sheet metal's all over the field. This is, mm. super, this is the original. We'll talk about that one another day. Because no one else told me today. Well, this is a CA. It's a... Sweetheart. This it's, one. It came after the WD. The WD... They have a couple years overlap, but this one's got your same, same kind of hydraulic control, same, just same, different spot. Same, same hydraulic control, it's just instead of being up on the columns here, but it's still got the same lift, hold, down. And there's PTO. your PTO. Got, this one's got the same hand clutch, except this one's not a wet clutch, but it's the same concept. It splits your rear end. It's kind of it's jerky. Got, it's turkey, but it's still cool and it still has the same purpose. Mm -hmm. And it, it, well, they work. This one is still six volt. It actually runs yeah, this one actually really good. Right to life. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all factory here. Factory. So this one we didn't even have to drill any sketchy holes in, so that was cool. No, and also the good thing, focus. Delco Remy, that thing has an auto light. It works Boo. now though, surprisingly. And this one's got custom aftermarket performance lights in the right spot. There's not our factory lights because that's way too expensive for me. Oh yeah, this one's got the same power adjust rims, and you can see that, just a smaller version of them. This one actually has working brakes, too. This one, yeah, it does. This yeah. one's tracked, the quick release works on this yep. one. Yeah, we can show you, except that it's all hooked up, but we can still try. Oh, well, you want to right. hit that lever. So this lever here is a quick release. I'll hit the lever you watch down, John. Here, I'll hit the lever if you want. you got to pull pretty hard on it right now, because, oh, frick, maybe, maybe not. Maybe these sweet, well, it doesn't even go right now because hmm. this stuff's all bolted on. Oh, that's so right. The, these bolts, it won't go. Once we unbolt this stuff, we can take it right out. Oh. Plow will mount on this one. You can probably pull it in real nice soil, but. No, this one, it's just a two bottom. This one will probably pull it just fine. And not, in, not in heavy, not in hard not ground. Not in but hard ground, this but. This one's actually got good tires, so if moderate. Firestone wants to sponsor us, they can flex those tires. Um, Is that, are those Firestones? Yeah, they're, they're no wonder bad. they're still good. Now, now what are these riches. BFG Goodrich? Yeah. Honestly, no. The old AR's hard. got. They're actually not bad not shape. Bad There's tire. weather. Just don't let your shit sit outside, people. If you let it sit outside, then you get this, you get this and you get this action. That's okay. That's disgusting. My deer's got or calcium, so the rim's mint. 
This one's also got calcium. It just has mint rim still, surprisingly. Oh. So yeah, that's kind of a wrap on the WD 12 volt conversion and the custom magneto distributor conversion. So I would oh, really and, consider uh, that. This is not factory. No, we don't. Worry that is about not that. factory. That was uh, previous things to hold the loader up in the so days that we had to pull start pull it with start things. Anything that would drive. Yeah. And rip the thing around. So yeah, there's your trip bucket lever. That is not original either. No, the original one was laying over somewhere in a pile. We don't worry about that. We don't worry about that. So yeah. There's a wrap on her. What do you know? Rock and roll.